Wash your hands immediately after touching these ten things. Hand washing works. Washing your hands is essential to good hygiene, stopping germs in their tracks. Washing your hands limits the transfer of bacteria, viruses, and other germs, according to the Mayo Clinic. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention recommends using soap and clean water or an al- alcohol-based hand sanitizer to wash your hands, as studies show both are effective ways of keeping germs at bay. Of course, it's impossible to keep your hands 100% germ-free all the time, but it's absolutely essential after touching the following 10 things. And when cleaning, don't overlook these 15 everyday items that are dirtier than a toilet seat. Money. These days, you can use a debit or credit card for most purchases, but sometimes you just need to handle cash. When you do, be sure to wash your hands as soon as possible. Researchers tested $1 bills from a New York City bank and found hundreds of microorganisms, including oral and vaginal bacteria and DNA from pets and viruses. Similar research has shown some cash and coins even contain pathogens like E. coli and salmonella. It doesn't help that money circulates for a while. $100 bills can circulate for as long as 15 years, according to the Federal Reserve. You'll never guess how many germs are hiding in your wallet right now. Restaurant menus Restaurants can be germ-ridden places. But the menu is the worst carrier. Researchers from the University of Arizona found that menus had a whopping 185,000 bacterial organisms. It makes sense as so many people handle restaurant menus. You can't avoid touching it, but do wash your hands afterward. These are the other dirtiest things on restaurant tables. Any animals. Not everyone washes their hands after touching pets or animals, but they should, according to Nesochi Okeke Igbakwe, a physician and health expert. Animals may carry various diseases, she says, and because pets are generally thought as family-friendly, hand washing is sometimes overlooked. Hand washing after touching animals or interacting with pets, whether yours or someone else, is absolutely essential cotton boards, and kitchen sponges. The kitchen is a germ-laden environment. You are not only bringing in raw or uncooked food, but also cleaning food, utensils, and textiles like kitchen towels and sponges. One study found as many as 326 different species of bacteria living on used kitchen sponges. Make sure to toss out the old ones, and as Dr. Burris suggests, Always wash your hands before preparing a meal and after handling raw meats. Soap dispensers or pumps. Wait, are we saying you need to wash your soap? Well, sort of. Soap dispenser pumps are a haven for bacteria. Researchers from the University of Arizona found refillable soap dispensers especially germ-laden. As you are pressing the pump, Any bacteria you're hoping to wash off has an equal opportunity to get transferred onto the dispenser. Lead researcher Charles Gebra says touching refillable soap containers can actually transfer more bacteria to your hands than if you stuck your hands in a toilet. Handrails, handles, or dart knobs. Hand washing is incredibly important to limit the spread of bacteria and viruses, says Caddy Burris a dermatologist at Columbia University Medical Center. One of the critical times to remember to wash is after riding public transportation, where multiple people are continuously touching the same surfaces, Dr. Burris says. This includes everything from handrails on an escalator to poles on the subway to bathroom door handles. Almost anything in the doctor's office. Thanks to a parade of patients coming through all day, most things in the doctor's office harbor germs or bacteria, especially the sign-in pen. In fact, there are 46,000 more germs on that pen than an average toilet seat. Other gross things to avoid are the waiting room chair armrest and the door handle. 
So take a few minutes after your visit to stop by the restroom and thoroughly wash, and make sure you are washing your hands the right way, not the wrong way. Touch screens. Now that technology replaces some paper goods, it's key to wash your hands after touching any screens. One of the worst offenders are kiosk machines in airports or public transportation locations, Dr. Boris says. Germs are everywhere, and some places may harbor more than you may realize, she says. Cell phones count too, especially as we may share them with others. In case you are wondering, here is exactly how filthy your phone screen is. The good news: simple washing with soap and water will reduce transmission of these pathogens, Dr. Boris says. Pants that aren't yours. Although many people use their phone or computer to take notes and write lists, sometimes you just need to borrow a pen. That's fine, but wash your hands after using it. The average office pen has ten times the germs of the average office toilet seat. At about two hundred bacteria per square inch, according to the Wall Street Journal. If that doesn't gross you out, consider that many people like to chew or gnaw on pen caps. Yuck! This is what can happen if you don't wash your hands.